Is this real life? Bruh. This has got to be the best avatar I've seen today in Tower Defense Simulator. Royal blood approved. I love your goggles here. Your sunglasses. <laughs> Why sometimes you can't click on the players and see their levels? It's glitchy. Today I want to talk about things that ought to change in this game. Things that could be improved. Oh, there we go. Level 1. Do you have to beat the event two times to for Toxic Gunner? What are you talking about, Toxic Gunner? Isn't that a limited from Halloween? Yeah, you can't get that. Yeah, you can't get that. Trigger treat event. That's also something I want to talk about later in the video. I noticed from playing this game for over a month now that there are some things that could be improved in this game. For example, if we look at this right here, you go to store and you get to uh, skins right here. Now, the golden skin right here costs 50,000 coins. 50,000 coins. Do you know how much that is if you were to spend Robux? So if you were to get 50,000 coins just by spending Robux, that's, uh, you get 10,000 times 5. You do the math. It's like 50 bucks. $50 almost. Oh, how much? Yeah, 50 bucks to get a, a golden, uh, this one here. Special skin for mini gunner, cowboy, crook boss. And they're very OP because it can improve, it can improve your towers. It makes them more OP in the game. It buffs the, um, you know, I don't have one yet. It buffs the, the, the towers. But if you were to play the game without spending Robux to get uh, 50k coins, you get daily rewards. I don't know how much you get in daily rewards. Like, how much? At max, a thousand coins? I don't know. But you would have to do... I did the math. You get 49,000 coins if you do fall in mode in duos, for example. You could also do it solo. But you have to play 70 matches and win... 70 matches 70 matches one match takes close to 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes 25 to 27 minutes then you have to switch servers switch maps it's gonna take at least 30 minutes to finish one uh, map so you do uh 70 here times 30 minutes 2100 minutes 2100 minutes is 35 hours you would have to play an hour a day or two hours a day it would take you 15 days if you play two hours a day it would take you 15 days or so like two weeks to be able to buy one golden skin that's crazy that's way too much what am i trying to say to the game developers this is way too much grinding to get a golden skin and also too much robux if, if you were to buy it here's an example don't justify me that it's worth getting for fifty thousand coins if you look at this game right here assassin's creed ps5 game it's a new game from 2020 it costs 279 danish uh crowns which is like 45 us it's a whole game for 45 us ps5 and inside this roblox game which is of course free to play um it cost more than that to get us go just to get a golden skin it's not justifiable you know make it cheaper like you would get more players getting more addicted to the game if you lowered the prices i know they want players to stay longer but like let's say you change the price and or add one here twenty thousand coins and that would cost 850 for 25 for twenty thousand coins ten thousand coins shouldn't cost you 850 robux that's that's 10 bucks to get 10,000 coins. That's way too much price for uh, just to get coins in the game. Like, you can almost, you can buy a PS4 game for that, you know? A whole game. I'm not knocking on the game, I'm just saying what could be improved. I love this game, this game is super fun. It's probably my favorite Roblox game of all time, or uh, if not Arsenal. This here, yeah, it's up there. It's one of the best Roblox games I ever tried. Eventually, I will probably get tired of it, unless they add something else. What were some other things they could add in the game? store <laughs> okay so we talked about the crates being too expensive the skin crates being too expensive and um oh yeah another thing limited towers it's the most annoying thing in the world if you recently joined the game and you realize hey man this game is awesome hey wait you can get this one here gladiator wait what i can't get it why can't i get it well you had to play the game at this certain time in the past to get this one and now it's limited you cannot no longer get it why and you can probably justify it by saying it holds value to players because it's limited. But what's the real value if you can't trade the towers? You cannot trade in this game. So what's the real value? That's another thing they could probably add in this game. Trading. Trading could be awesome. 
Maybe. If you were able to trade limited towers, you know, with other players, that would make the game more interesting. Or at least have uh, unboxing uh, limited towers. You, you spend coins, you spend coins to open crates that can give you limited towers if you're really lucky. Kind of like opening eggs. So that would be another thing that would be super nice to have. You spend like, I don't know, 10,000 coins to open one crate and you can get maybe yada 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 if you're lucky a limited tower and something else you know if you're not lucky a final thing that would make this game really good would be pvp they already had it in the past is what i heard from other players as you can see right here this dude right here is um this is apparently how pvp used to be like so you would send your towers against other towers like your towers would come out like the zombies and that's how you attack the other player in my opinion that's a very bad pvp experience because like what's the fun of having your towers run around like zombies do just follow the road the best way to make pvp and this would make tower defense simulator probably the best game of all time on roblox if they could uh add pvp like this here i show you check this out this is a game from ea games it's a pretty old game called red alert 2 this is how you do pvp look how he can he can uh, choose his mouse cursor he can uh he can click on his mouse and uh, drag the players all the troops to attack the other player so basically you would pick uh, all your your towers with your mouse you would drag them and tell them where to attack and then you can build you know just make the uh, the map like instead of a road it would be like an open world where you could just build wherever you want and um attack with the amount of players you want you know what i mean that would make tower defense simulator the best game of all time in roblox but they would have to change a lot in the game i think maybe all right fully upgrade i'm doing duo with some dude from a public server just to end off the video we had wave 36 doing pretty good here fully upgraded farms and we got this we got this i think let's see we're gonna place this one here fully upgraded all right easy peasy but if i did this alone i still can't do it i can only do molten mode as i said in the past uh does this one reach all the way over here yes it does get this one here fully upgraded and uh we might have to press the commander not yet oh i don't have enough money to upgrade here that's fine we're gonna get the cast now almost at nine thousand. here we go yee wait oh i thought it was fully upgraded no it's not here we go here we got uh crook boss all my crook bosses are fully upgraded it's very much approved all right first we need to see where the commander reaches the commander reach all the way there approved Two more waves. And uh, should I buff the troops? Buff them. Here we go. Kill them. Kill them. Yee. All right. Very nice. There we go. One more wave after this. No skip. Buff the troops. I mean, it probably wasn't necessary. Yeah, that wasn't necessary. Okay. Now we sell all the farms. Get some cash. If you're new to the channel, you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you also turn on the notification. And next time you buy that sweet, sweet Robux, please use star code RAM. Star code RAM. Yes, please. This dude pro. Thank God he had the ace pilot. The ace pilot was such a huge help in the first few rounds. So shout out to this dude. Hey, wait a minute. We not reach all the way here. We just put this one here. Click. There we go. Hey, are we doing molten? What the heck? I thought we were doing fallen. I pressed fallen. Is this not fallen mode? Why are we having a molten boss? I pressed fallen. I thought he did the same. All this time I thought we were doing fallen mode. We were not. Can you have molten boss in fallen mode? What's going on here? Now we only get, what is it? 500 cash, 600. We could get 700 if we, if we did fallen. I'm pretty sure we did fallen. Oh, he's angry. And here we go. Will he die? Almost. We stunned. And here we go. He die. He die. He dies. Right now. Goodbye. Come on, die. Bro. This dude don't want to die. Dude. <laughs> we might have to sell some troops here. Bro. Come on. <laughs> here we go come on oh we also have to kill this one too there we go 
500 coins. Dude, I thought we did Fallen mode. Okay. Smash like on the video if you enjoyed. Gracefully hit that uh, like button. Gracefully. And gracefully hit that subscribe button. Thank you. <laughs>